If you are faithful in the little things, you will be faithful in the large ones. Luke 16.10, New Living Translation. Pastor Edward Streeter always liked to sit in the very front of the bus right behind the driver. There were two reasons. One, he could see out better. And number two, he could make sure the driver stayed awake. Some of those drivers in India would drive for two days straight in, try, in order to try to make some extra money. And if they happened to fall asleep at the wheel, well, Pastor Streeter shuddered to think of the accidents that he had seen. On one long bus trip, as Pastor Streeter was sitting in his usual place, he suddenly heard a pop in the engine compartment and a thump, 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 thump. Oh no, he says, sounds like the fan belt's broken. Oh well, the driver will get out his tools and spare fan belt and get it fixed and we'll be on our way a little late, but at least we'll be on our way. Except there were no tools and no spare fan belt. Instead, the driver raised the hood of the bus and ordered a thin little man to come sit in the engine compartment and keep his hands and feet away from the moving parts. He gave him a bucket that they filled up in the ditch by the side of the road and told him to pour water into and over the engine as he drove. The driver leaned out the window and, and tried to look around the hood of the bus as he went and they chugged on down the road a ways until the water in the bucket finished and the temperature gauge started going way up again and they would have to repeat the whole process over and over and over. Finally, Pastor Streeter saw a bus depot coming and he said, wonderful, at least we'll be able to get something to eat and go to the bathroom, get something to drink, while the bus driver gets a fan belt and gets it changed. Obviously, others had the same thought, and many people started to stand up before the bus had even stopped. Suddenly, the driver slammed on the brake, jumped into the aisle in front of the door, and said, Sit down, everybody. Nobody gets off this bus. Well, wait a minute, Pastor Streeter says. It's going to take you a few minutes. While you're doing that, we could go get refreshed. Mister, the driver said, you see those 16 buses sitting over there? They've been there for a month and every one of them is waiting for a fan belt. There are no fan belts here. Well, Pastor Streeter said, it looks like we're going to be here a long time, so we might as well get off. No, no, the driver laughed and he said, sit down, everybody. I have a plan. We'll be on our way shortly. Everybody sat down, puzzled and grumbling, but... After a few minutes, another bus pulled in next to theirs. The driver and all the passengers got off and went inside. And as soon as they did, the, the driver on Pastor Streeter's bus rushed out the door over to their bus, took off their fan belt, put it on his bus, and they were on their way. Pastor Streeter was chagrined at the tactics, but the rest of the trip, he couldn't get those 16 buses out of his mind. Somebody hadn't been doing their job of ordering fan belts. Maybe they wanted something more glamorous. Maybe they wanted a more important position. Maybe they thought their training and abilities weren't being appreciated like they should be. But they hadn't done the job that they had been given. And as a result, thousands of dollars worth of equipment and hundreds of passengers had been delayed in their trips. Father God, help me to be faithful in the little things you give me for today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.